Good morning guys. It is currently like 15 minutes until it's 4 in the morning and yeah, I think it's a little I think it's a little late, don't you think? Um yeah, so th I think this whole week I've been sleeping like super late and then Fridays I have to go into work like an hour early, which kind of kills it for me as far as like waking up. So today I got home eight and then just immediately crashed and yeah i woke up like an hour ago i was like oh man i cannot believe i already got like my six seven eight hours of sleep and now what am i gonna do it really sucks because like in a couple hours i'm not gonna like do anything and then i'm just gonna end up going back to sleep and then it's gonna be horrible my sleep schedule will be all messed up but anyways arena wise looks like we're doing pretty good we have we're on a five uh win streak almost 200k points i think for sure we'll end up uh <laughs> top 30 in the ranking um yeah it sucks i was gonna definitely try to do the crystal bounty today at least get all of the milestones but it's not gonna be possible probably not and i don't feel like uh like doing that right now immediately after this video but anyways sorry for the super long intro we're gonna go right in and there's a bumblebee in this uh this path we can take Megatronus and all these other characters, but I think we're going to get rid of a lot of these characters and just mainly play, you know, one character do you want to play with a little bit more. It's definitely Jetfire. We're going to play with Thundercracker. And I guess that's why yesterday it felt like uh, the video I put was like super, super quick, super easy. And then I was like, why am I using my five stars if I can you know give it a bit of a challenge with these four stars so um yeah let's go ahead and uh just throw it in wheeljack and bumblebee should we use a bumblebee of our own yeah why not so we're getting the upgrades and i don't know if jet fire actually gets the upgrade i think there was a yeah see it's a little bit weird um, there was already a post in the forums about this where Jetfire isn't getting like all of the synergies that he should be getting, which is strange, but <laughs> look at this, uh, Thundercracker gives himself like <laughs> anti-evade, that'd be pretty neat if like some of these characters gave themselves uh, <laughs> little buffs here and there, but yeah, hopefully they get that fixed for Jetfire, that Wheeljack synergy and some of the other like uh, Autobot synergies I think would be really good for him, but I don't know if the rest of them are working. Let's see, what do we got on this path? We have evade power gain. When evading a melee attack, generates 43% of a power bar. Okay, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's actually go down that lane and... All right, so what do we want to do? Yeah, let's give this first one to Hot Rod. And I think I will use Hot Rod again if there's like a Bumblebee up ahead. Um, I know the boss is a scout bumblebee, so I'll probably end up using hot rod for that one. But for this one, it's going to just use hot rod as well. God, I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> All right, it's, uh, try not to knock him down, but it doesn't really matter. Hot rod's gonna just annihilate this barricade. Should have gone for a special too. I didn't think I was gonna get enough power right there, but there it is. Not too bad. Quick and easy win. And let's go ahead and switch it over to some of the four star characters. So we have a Sharkticon. Uh, same thing. Evade. So let's go ahead and give this one to Bumblebee. And he should be able to get through those shields, those Rhinox shields on the Sharkticon. And I'm curious if they're gonna come back because I know in the arenas whenever I face like one of these sharks and if I get a shield break the shields never come back for some reason and I don't know if it's like that for everybody but it definitely is for um the tech shark let's wait a little bit we'll see if they come back should be like in about 10 seconds right I think oh yeah they're not coming back <laughs> I'm like they should have been back already but nope Oh Bumblebee, one day, one day as a as a five star for sure we'll we'll get you. Twenty successful hits, not bad. And let's go ahead and keep moving up. We have a Jazz up ahead. Jazz should be pretty easy. Let's give this one a Thundercracker. 
I saw a Synthwave's video the other day where he got like 60 melee buffs. I was like, damn, I'll have to try to beat that someday. But uh, RNG is going to have to be on my side. That was crazy though. I was like, whoa, this dude's doing so much freaking damage. Probably should have gone for that 5 star Thundercracker arena, but I think it would have been uh, too much Energon spent. Uh, I would probably ended up having to buy some Energon as well because I think the cutoff was like around 15 million points, so quite a quite a bit of points. Can one special two finish it off? Nope. All right. I need to double check like the percentages on like the melee buffs that he gets like as far as like how much damage each one gives i don't know if it's like 10 percent. i don't think it's 10 percent. i think it's like way less he's not like tantrum where i think tantrums it's like 20 percent melee or 20 percent melee buff i think right i don't remember i'll have to go back and check that but here we have a kickback and i should have probably anticipated there being a bunch of scouts on this path. Let's just finish off this weak little kickback with uh, their hot rod here. The deceleration going, the stun, and quick and easy win. Hot rod, pretty good. Pretty legit. I, I have yet to take them in alliance missions. Today, I wasn't able to do much in the first section. Um, so at work, we have a second uh, usually I sometimes log in uh, and play at work like auto battle and if I have time I'll do like a, I'll sneak in like an alliance mission fight but this whole week I haven't been able to play because we've been testing like a second firewall on our second ISP connection and yeah they put a whole bunch of rules policies web filter and <laughs> basically can't connect to the game can't even browse um, so yeah, that kind of sucks. Been, it's been a very boring week, to say the least. There's no, uh, in the building we're in, I get, like, no cell service, so I'm basically stuck in there just <clears throat> working. I'm always working, though. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Well, the parry was not successful right there. Ooh, I should have actually brought Mixmaster. And honestly, guys, I think I might have enough scout sparks to take Mixmaster up, so we may be seeing the the awakening of uh, the Mix Daddy here as a five-star character really, really soon. I don't know why I feel like it's much easier to parry now with Jetfire. Either I was like super bad, like before, or it's way easier now. I think I was just really bad, but I love that stun though. Stun's like so good now. He's not the he's not the strongest character damage wise, but he plays his part. I think I missed the combo there. I didn't get the special damage um, buff from the mastery. That shock damage though. He's really good though at fighting against characters that don't have like a huge amount of HP, like that Mixed Master fight. God, I feel like it took forever. But against these normal characters, he's it's pretty good. So there it is. Super tall, big jet fire for the wind. Taking up uh, half the screen, like uh, <laughs> what's his name, Ultra Magnus. And here we have a Sight Swipe. So this one for sure will give it to Hot Rod. And I think the next one against the Tactician Bumblebee, I will try with mm, Thundercracker maybe. <gasps> he evaded. Oh no. Alright, gotta be a little careful here. So there's the deceleration. And did not get a Nevade buff. So... Works out for me. Uh-oh. The evade RNG, man. It's not on my side today. Alright, this might be it for Sideswipe. We can get a crit. 1%. Oh, man. 
Why you gotta do me like that, Kabam? Just, just give me the win, you know? Give me that last crit on that third shot. Alright, so it's a Bumblebee, and he is on... Alright, same thing. I guess that was the mini boss, right? The... Sideswipe, maybe? I don't know. Let's actually try this one with Wheeljack. I don't have Nano Jack, that Nano Repair Mastery, so I'm not gonna be totally invincible. I feel like I need some lighting to you guys, because right now, um, the way I capture my device with OBS and the Elgato software, it's just on my PC, so you see all the different shades of uh, color from loading screens, and these are these uh, the maps. Just reflect on my face. <laughs> All right. Can we dodge the special two? Nope. Stop the eating bumblebee. Jeez. All right. Let's go for that special one. Probably get a power leak. Nope. Shock, surprisingly. There it is, Wheeljack for the win. And I can't wait for this guy, for sure, to come out in the store. Definitely be claiming him if he ever makes his appearance. Alright, so I didn't check the other notes, so he is on health boost. Uh, crit damage, evade power gain, stagger. They always, always include that little crit damage boost. His special one already gives him like extra crit damage. Um, th that's just it makes him even stronger. But anyways, uh, let's actually try Bumblebee versus Bumblebee. We'll see how good this goes. Probably gonna end up getting destroyed if I do get caught by like a special one. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna spell game over for us, but. Let's see. Let's see if we can make this happen. Alright, we're done. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, so I guess if I... I don't know, that's a weird little interaction. But I'm anticipating the special one here. He's just playing around with me. I know it. I know it. Alright, let's go for the uh, power lock. Okay, cool. He has no evade buff up, so we are good to just dive this guy and go as as hard as we can. Here we go. Not too bad, actually. I thought for sure we were dead when that special two hit us, the, the shot, but... Uh, no, we were fine, surprisingly. And... You know what, let's go ahead and do the other one. I was like, you know what, if this one takes too long, we'll go ahead and switch over to making another video on that one, but it wasn't too bad, so let's go ahead and go into this one, and I'm going to switch out the team here, guys, but let me just double check to see what this Prime is on. He's on melee damage, reflect ranged, and relentless assault. All right. So... Cyclonus might be a good choice here. Alright. Let's go back in. Bugging out. Alright. So, what do we want to do here? Do we want to use Galvatron? Yeah, you know what? We can go with the full Decepticon team. So let's do Galvatron, we'll do Cyclonus. Cyclonus, Cyclonus, did I miss you? Yes, I did. Mm. So we'll do Barricade, and... I honestly don't know. <laughs> I don't know who else to pick, guys. Help me out. Just kidding. Let's see. 
All right, you know what? Scratch that. We're not going to go full De Decepticon team. We'll go with some of the Beast War characters as well. So let's go with uh, Scorponok, and we'll also do... Let's do Tantrum. There we go. Some nice little synergies amongst all these guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, Tantrum actually gets quite a few of them. Nice. All right, let's go. We're ready for this, guys. All right, what do we got? Mm, all right, so Relentless Assault will be all the way on the right-hand side. And then this one will be... Nothing. Okay. Is this Reflect? Yep, this is Reflect. And then... The drift one will be melee damage. All right, so let's just go ahead and go down, I guess, the Relentless Assault path. It shouldn't be too bad. I think we should be able to cut through a lot of these characters. We just got to make sure once they, if they're dashing a lot at, at us, we just got to keep an eye on those melee buffs. As soon as 10 stacks are close, we're just going to play super safe and just avoid the enemy at all costs. But it's easier said than done, so we'll see how it goes. Hoping I don't get a lot of crits against Rhinox. I'm just gonna go for like these light hits. And there we go. Break his shields. Pray that we get some uh, some backfire procs. Ow. There's uh, the one crit doing a bunch of damage to me. God. That was so much damage, man, really? It's so dumb. Alright, we're good though. Barricade for the win. That was a perfect fight and we still took the 34% damage from the shield, from the Rhinox shield. I'm a little salty about that, for sure. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so we have a Shrekticon right here. And let's go ahead and switch it over to Scorponok. Should be able to cut through this guy pretty quickly. Especially if we can get some bleeds going, but... I brought this team for, like, the backfires that they can do. It'll definitely help me out. happened <laughs> oh my god all right let's um let's give it over to barricade again <laughs> that definitely was not supposed to happen guys i think we uh mistimed our back step right there enough we can get a crit all right yeah we're good we're good no worries guys ignore ignore that uh scorponok fight for sure that one that one was a bit of a doozy next we have a primal okay all right so thirty-seven thousand hp pretty pretty tanky i think let's go ahead and uh, give it over to cyclonus this one it shouldn't be too bad we can spam the special ones or even go for a special three so we can start pulsing get rid of those armor buffs and just gotta hope that we can dodge all of his uh his stuff Alright, 
Let's just go for a special three, I think. Bad. 10 stack primal definitely reduces the amount of damage I can do. And here I think we'll just finish it off going for like special ones, but Gotta always anticipate that little sneaky uh, special one from Primal. <clears throat> a perfect fight right there. And up next we have a Demo Shark. So for this one we'll switch it over to Tantrum and we'll just try playing like super super aggressive. This isn't that uh... That node. What was it that... God, I already forgot what it was called. Um, life transfer. Sorry. So we can't be too overly aggressive. There will be no healing. But we can definitely take down this Sharktacon pretty quickly. Just go ahead and keep dashing. Go for heavies. Take a little bit of damage. We're going to save here for a special three. Oh, we got the stun, man. He, it's over. It's over. Special three for the win. Give me that 10k plus damage. It's such a strong character, man. I really wish I had him as a five star. Someday, someday, guys, it's going to happen. It's bound to happen. We're going to end up getting ourselves a five star tantrum from the store, along with a, uh, <clears throat> a wheeljack and a cyclonus. And oh look at this, they put Thundercracker as is that the mini boss? Oh no, there is a bone crusher on this lane. Hmm. Alright, you know what? I think it's okay. I think Tantrum can beat him. Maybe. <laughs> Just gonna have to play super careful against the Bone Crusher. Try to get three stacks quickly to get the purify in case we get any bleeds on us. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So, Thundercracker, what are you on? Buff duration, relentless assault. All right. So, exactly the same like Star Scream. So, it shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't catch us off guard with like any weird specials or anything. So, just as long as we get these, uh, as long as we start pulsing, I think we'll be. I think we'll be okay. the nullify and let's get him to use that special too give me that big damage cyclonus Oh man, I love that special three from Cyclonus. It's like so freaking good. <clears throat> and then if you're ever like in a situation where like the opponent backs you up like into a corner or something, or if they're going like for a five hit combo, that pulse will trigger and it'll just knock them back, allowing you to to recover. But can't wait, can't wait. All right, so we have a Bone Crusher here and. All right, so the main focus thing here is hope RNG is on our side up until we get like the three stacks, every three stacks, so we can get any purifies or so we can purify any bleeds if we get them on us. But we just have to be super careful going up against Bone Crusher. Bleeds do a ton of damage, so gotta avoid his specials. That special one does like a freaking crap ton of damage. But so far, so good. We 
just go for that. Alright, we're dead. <laughs> Why do I always jinx myself, man? I don't understand. Wait, no bleed? Alright, one bleed. Two bleeds, alright. Alright, I had to do that. I had to go unstoppable first. Otherwise, if I had gone back, I would have lost my... My stacks, but... That was so bad on my part. <laughs> I was like, oh, this isn't going to push him to a special three, but it did, unfortunately. But we're good. No, no worries. No harm done. All right, so we have a prime. Again, he's on melee damage, reflect range, relentless assault. So we will give it to Galvatron just for the beginning. Uh, we'll see. See how it goes. Um, hoping Prime isn't too big of a an annoyance. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Reflect range. It's pretty manageable. The one I definitely hate is the other one. The absorb projectile. Absorb range and they heal and all that stuff. This one, you can still hit them with range. They just have to be not blocking. And we just take a very heavy, heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna get a special one. Oh, okay, we're dead. What is going on today, guys? I have no idea. We're just getting completely destroyed. Let's go ahead and give it to Tantrum. I think I you know you know what I think it is? I think I've just gotten a little bit too complacent with like some of these characters. Tantrum is dead. <laughs> oh boy, what a what an amazing amazing run through. Um, I'm just so used to I guess playing with like Megatronus, using him to carry me in all these paths. Everything's just super super easy with him, but gotta be a little bit careful when playing with some of these four stars. We'll be we'll be fine though. Backfire proc on him, get the second one, and there's over 3,000 free damage, so amazing, amazing work from Barricade. And we'll save up for a special two here for you able to pull it off all right prime is dead never mind the one percent strikes again from kabam and we are dead <laughs> oh my god what is going on today that is so dumb let's see how much hp he has left 64 nice should we just stand still and let him hit us a bunch of times actually no probably not a good idea I was going to say, let's just let him, like, kill himself with a pulse, but I don't know if Prime would have uh, KO'd Cyclones. He probably would have, actually, because he is on that increased melee damage, so... Yeah, it was probably a good idea not to just stand still, but we're good, guys. Chapter 2 has been uh, cleared, our initial run-through, so up next, let us just take a little quick sneak peek, because I think Kitten had posted a comment in the previous video saying that Megatronus, or... Megatron, sorry, Tactician Megatron was a huge pain. Uh, so let's see, what is he on? Range damage, range shock. All right, that's manageable. Resist, 74% uh, resist energy damage. And... Okay, it's not too bad. I don't think it's too bad. But we'll see. We'll definitely bring Jetfire back for this one. And yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here, guys. Probably gonna watch, rewatch that last episode of Game of Thrones and hopefully go back to sleep for a little bit. <laughs> but uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will catch you guys tomorrow during the live stream. I will be streaming again at 10 p.m. Central, and we'll probably just do some special missions and then. Uh, we're going to open up that crystal, the 5 star crystal on stream. I know I said I was going to save it, but I can't exactly save 
you know, the five star box crystals. I always want to open them up. So we're just going to open it up on stream and we'll see what we get. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later.